Hey YouTube, my name is Sean and I'm going to show you how to play a song today. It's called Body Party. But I'm going to show you how to play it two ways. This way, and then a slightly easier way. So that if you can't make all these bar chords, you can still play the song if you want. Alright, so I'll show you this way first. The first chord I'm playing is a D major 7 chord. This is 5th fret A string with the 1st finger, 7th fret D string with the 3rd finger, 6th fret G string with the 2nd finger, and then 7th fret B string with the 4th finger. Like this. If you want to, you can bar across and grab the high E on the 5th fret too, but it's not really necessary. D major 7. The next chord is C sharp 7, or dominant 7. This is barring across the 4th fret with the 1st finger, and then 3rd finger on the 6th fret of the D string, and then 4th finger on the 6th fret of the B string. You hit 5 notes from the A through high E strings, and that's C sharp 7. Okay, after that we have an F sharp minor 9 chord, like this. This is barring the 2nd fret across the whole neck, and then the 3rd finger grabs the 4th fret on the A string, and the pinky grabs the 4th fret on the high E string. So you get that sound, the top note there, that G sharp, is what makes this a F sharp minor 9 chord. Alright, after that I'm going to play an E minor 7 up here on the 7th fret. So, this is a bar chord, barring the 7th fret from the A through high E strings, grabbing the 9th fret on the D string with the 3rd finger, and the 8th fret on the B string with the 2nd finger. Playing 5 strings, not the low E, makes an E minor 7, excuse me, E minor 7. And then, A7 is like this, kind of like the same shape, but we're moving it the string set down. This is barring the 5th fret across the whole neck, um, the 7th fret on the A string, and the 6th fret on the G string, like this. And that's it, so watch, we're going 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, it's only two measure phrase. Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two. You can strum it if you want. Give us some more dynamics. saying that you can play this another way that's kind of simpler. So here's how it goes. Mostly playing open chord like shapes. The first thing we're going to do is play a D major 7 like this. All right. Barring across the second fret from the G, B, and E strings and then playing the open A and D strings. This makes a D major 7 chord. Okay, after that we're going to make this C sharp 7. This is 1st finger, 2nd fret B string, 2nd finger, 3rd fret D string, 3rd finger, 4th fret A string, and then pinky in between all of this on the 4th fret of the G string. Like that. Don't play the E's. C sharp 7, if you've ever played a C7, you're just going to move it up one fret, 
like a whole shape, gives you C sharp 7, I'm in at 7. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, now you can play this F minor 9 a little bit easier if you can't borrow the whole neck. You can do like a mini little shape up here by just taking your first finger, barring the second fret on the G and B strings, third fret on the uh, third finger on the fourth fret of the D string, fourth finger on the fourth fret of the high E string. Playing those four notes can give you that F minor nine sound. So after that, you can play E minor seven like this. This is just second finger on the A string. 2nd fret, E minor 7, and then an A7, like a normal open chord shape. This is 2nd finger, 2nd fret, D string, 3rd finger, 2nd fret, B string. Gives you an A7 sound. And that could, you know, have the same sort of sound. barring everything. You only have to kind of bar one thing, that F sharp minor 9. So this is an alternative way. But I definitely recommend practicing that first way. Those chords are really nice. Especially that one. Alright, I'm Sean. Thanks for watching. Any questions or comments, send them my way. Any suggestions, do the same. Please subscribe. I'm doing this twice a day during the weekday. I know it's Sunday right now. That's because I was slacking on Friday. But, here it is. And I'll see you next time.